It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1793, recorded Thursday, August 20th, 2020. Big Time TV. This episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D is bigger than ever. We have one of the best what the heck is it gadgets and another pyromaniac gadget. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now and here he is. Gadget's largest contributor, Dick D. Bartolo. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? <laughs> ah, ah, like a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He's too big. How's, Our fans uh, are. I was so moved when you sent me an email yesterday, saying, "Dick, I can send you your hundred dollars back." Yeah, yeah. The fans sent in enough money. I can buy a new TV this afternoon. Yes. So we <laughs> set a goal, what, two episodes ago? This would two, be the I third. I think just two weeks ago. Yeah, just two weeks ago. And while we haven't hit the goal that I set on the Patreon, you guys were more than generous on PayPal. And so we're, we were able to get this new TV. Just as comparison, I have the old TV here. So this is how big Dickie D used to be compared wow. to wow. the new one. <laughs> that is astounding. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? So And the deal you got on it. Yeah. So oh, let's let the chat room guess. This is okay. a 50-inch TV, 4K. 50-inch um, 4K TLC? Yeah, TLC. It is a... A smart TV, so if I wanted to, I could go over here and, you know. Chat room, you're guessing price. <laughs> oh, play this some is games. <laughs> I, I didn't go through the process of <laughs> connecting it to the internet yet, but it can do that, too. Um, oh, the chat room's playing very cheap. A dollar, <laughs> nine ninety-five. <laughs> Uh, 500. We, we may have some people that have searched for TVs recently and they, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> we have several people right in the ballpark. Yeah. It was way cheaper than I guessed. Uh, my, my guess was 400. So this TV and this was brand. So I, what I started off doing, cause I've done this in the past is I went to Walmart and was looking to see if they had any used inventory. Because you can get a used TV for $60, $100 off. Um, they didn't have any. And I went to Best Buy, and they didn't have any. And I realized, duh, because almost all of these companies aren't taking returns. They've extended their returns due to COVID. So I was like, I shouldn't have even bothered. So I went back to Walmart and got this TV, brand new, not used, not anything like that, for $260. 200 and, that was with tax. So I think it was $249 um, before tax. Unbelievable. Before tax. A 50-inch smart TV 4K. Yeah. And this has Roku built in, which is oh my gosh. by far the best smart TV platform other than say like hooking up your own Apple TV sort of thing. I, yeah. I really like the Roku platform a lot. Um, and it's updated. It has a really good user interface. You can buy it, it. Whenever you get one of them, you get a Roku remote, which is, Oh my gosh, which is really nice. And you can buy more of these. They're very simple. Like I really, really, Feel like it's one of the better deals around is so if you're in the in the market for a smart tv i highly recommend getting a roku one because roku keeps the software updated and i mean all the apps i mean if you want disney plus plex um wow. you know uh <laughs> all of them hulu netflix they're all in, all there all updated and they run pretty good so, Excellent. Um, and TLC gets uh, great reviews. Uh, Dollar-wise, you, you can't beat them. Yeah, totally. It, totally. It, it's, it, it's 
amazing. Totally. So uh, someone complained they can see dust on the shelves, but <laughs> when we get the seventy inch, then I'll wear. I that everything in the foreground has been dusted. Yeah. I don't think I could get any larger. Um, no, I don't think you can because <laughs> the speak and spell is muffled. Because yes. we're yeah, you can't even. It's way back here now. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there you it go. Has to be to speak louder and spell. Anyway, chat room. <laughs> That was just just astounding. I I, I am so uh, I'm moved. It's just it's just great. It's just great. We have the best audience ever. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank I, you. It, uh, it's great. And I, we're getting so many emails about people liking the show. It took a pandemic for people to realize that we were having <laughs> fun on this show. Um, oh man. Well, I guess let's we jump ju into it. Just jump in. Okay, so. There was Sweet 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 is a wonderful event, and I usually get like oh a dozen videos. Well, this year it was virtual, and but I did see some things from uh, Kid Tracks, and so I emailed Ryan, who was hosting the virtual part for the audience, and I said, Ryan, uh, I love three of the gadgets you have. Can I make up a series of questions? And could you make a little video for our show? And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at two of the videos, uh, two of the gadgets in the first video. And then later in the show, we're going to show you uh, a toy that's not coming out until September, but has already made a best of the year toy nom nominee. OK, so let's go look at the first two toys uh, coming soon from Kid Tracks. Hey Dick, Ryan Burkett here from Kid Tracks Toys um, in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm super excited to walk you through our fall 2020 lineup. Uh, I wish you could be here to play with the toys with me, but this is gonna have to do for now. So let's take a look. Starting things off, we've got the semi-truck and trailer. Uh, the semi-truck and trailer is a 12-volt ride-on. Um, it is meant for one passenger, as you can see. You have one seat there. Obviously, I think some kids will probably get adventurous and want to put their brother or sister in the back. <laughs> That's not advised from KidTracksToys.com, but that back trailer does carry a weight limit of 30 to 40 pounds, uh, so they can carry all the toys they want back there. As you can see, it's got the front cab has six running wheels, which is a kind of a cool feature. Um, all the semi trucks that I'm aware of on the market um, may have a, a third dummy wheel, but the, the third wheel on this uh, semi-truck is actually functional um, and part of the drivetrain system, which is really cool. Um, obviously, it has the horns and the lights, light sounds like a real cab truck. Uh, this product will be available on walmart.com for $249. Um, this obviously is a very large ride-on toy, but not by by any means the largest that we've sold through Kid Tracks. Uh, we have a lot of 12 volt two seaters uh, currently available at kidtrackstoys.com, so feel free to check those out. When you have this fully charged, you're looking at a run time of about 45 minutes. <laughs> and I put in their own video. Yeah, this looks awesome. Like, Isn't this neat? This is so cool. Like, they didn't have anything like this when I was a kid. Like, oh, a, my. a styled thing that looks just like a real semi with a trailer. Uh, yes, and detachable trailer and hinge doors and and uh, lights. Three to seven. Oh, 77 pounds. Ah, I can't do it. <sighs> Darn it. Got to hit that diet to get down to 77. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, Moving and here's the, the uh, second toy. You can turn up his light. Yeah. Unicorn here. Uh, this is the Kid Tracks Silly Skaters Unicorn. This is, like I said, a foot to floor, so it has no motor in it. Um, this is just going to be propelled by the child sitting on it and moving it along. And when they're scooting along, they will have these uh, lights activated on the wheels, which is really cool. Uh, the lights are should last a lifetime of the toy. Um, the the battery is not replaceable, but they are just like the lights you would see in a in like a a light up scooter or a light up skateboard. Um, so those should last easily for the lifetime of, of the toy. Uh, the 
toy will arrive for the deflated so the parent can kind of choose how um, bouncy the toy is as they pump it up. If they want it to be a little bit more bouncy, they can leave a little bit of air out. If they want it to be less bouncy and more firm, uh, they can fill it all the way up. So that's a really cool toy and it does have a, a one-way air valve here on the back. And that one-way valve does make it so that once you fill it up, you shouldn't have to fill it up again. Um, the air should stay in there just fine and be inflated again for the lifetime of the toy. So very cool. Um, it's going to be $39 and will be available in multiple different retailers. Um, it's going to be available at Target, um, at Amazon, and KidTracksToys.com. And here's the little trailer. Dun, 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 dun. That was so fun. I wasn't expecting it to be inflatable. It looks like hard plastic, so that's kind of cool. That it... you know, it, because they said if you want it to be soft to feed your kid, you can, yeah. you know, not put that much air in it. And that's as you can see, one to three year olds. Yeah, much and and you, your coins are just so big still. With kids. oh my gosh, it's like become like a a trend of just unicorns all the time. Yes. Especially with like, it feels like it's the same unicorn. It's like they need to name it. That's the unicorn yeah, yeah, with yes. the rainbow horn and the rainbow hair. That's it. That's the one. Now, um, I could not find a pre-order for the inflatable guy, but the truck is already on Walmart for pre-order. And uh, you want to – I sent you a link. Okay. So the, uh, the retail is three forty nine. dollars It's going to be a Walmart exclusive. It's going to be in red or blue. And it looks like Walmart is knocking $100 off it. Yeah. So the truck is $249. It's a 12-volt truck. And again, it's just for, you know, alleyways, backyards. Do you get a, do you get a color matching t-shirt? Because that kid's uh, <laughs> shirt also switches when the color. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> there you go. I think, that, I think <clears throat> that's uh, additional. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it, it has uh, uh, a rubber tread on part of the tire, 12-volt battery, uh, single connector uh, for, the, for the recharging the battery, and a CB radio. It's it's really. I think kids will just love this. Yeah. Oh and heck you yeah. Can drive it around with it without the trailer. And I had asked. I said, I assume you're not recommending to put a child in the back. And he said, No, just up to. I think it was seventy pounds of stuff that you can carry around. I think someone in the chat room said it's great to get the get the kids to do yard work. <laughs> uh, you know, like a truck. Seventy yeah, pounds is. <laughs> Not a small amount. I mean, it's just, what, what kid is going to be hauling sand to the playground? <laughs> like, <laughs> holy moly, 70 yeah. pounds. Um, uh, I think they really need. And then yeah. we have one more that we'll, that we'll uh, uh, do uh, after my what the heck is it. I hope you've never seen this thing. Um, so let's take a look at what I think. I was going through uh, Amazon and, and I thought, I said, what the heck is that thing? And then when I read the description, I thought, I hope no one's seen this because, well, you'll see it. Watch the video. Okie dokie. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do another what the heck is it. And I think this is the most interesting what the heck is it I have ever uh, done. I do not know Dennis, off the top of my head. Any ideas? Um, Looks like a room. A pie carrier. A pie <laughs> carrier. Okay, I'm going to show you the back. No idea. Did change anything? A candlestick no. lathe. No. Oh, that's uh, good. No idea. Uh, did that change anything? Oh, it has a film carry pie like that. No. It looks like it an old fashioned like it twists. A film carrier. Oh, oh, oh like a, mm -hmm. a, a Kodak cassette yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. Is it like a stool? And then I believe somehow this becomes <sighs> a shoulder strap. Oh, I have still it. nothing, right? No. Okay. All right. So. I, okay. So I only think that because of the texturing on the top. When I it tell looks you like you it. This you is it. a no. chair. A chair? Well, mm -hmm. not, not a chair. Okay. I, yeah, right. A stool. Yeah. You were right. A um, stool. That was a total shot in the dark because <laughs> it does not seem like that. I could also see it being like a step uh, stool. Oh, my word. Oh, a yeah. Stool. A stool. A stool. Um, hold the designated spots. I love the instruction. Huh. Hold designated spots. Pull open 
to both ends. Okay. A stool. Oh! What? Wow. A, tel a telescoping stool. Uh. Wow. Holds 300 pounds, I think it said. Now, I, hope this, I hope this doesn't fall. I don't want to break my back. <laughs> oh. Oh, you know what? At the airport, or you're in a long line, maybe if you vote, <laughs> and it's going to be a three-hour wait. The thing is, I wonder if you can set it for different... How do you close it? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Oh, okay. So those are like oh. teeth. Yes. You can make it different heights. Oh. So uh, I'm, I'm only looking at <coughs> these little hooks and pegs here. So it seems as though you pull it open and then as you turn it, it closes. And when you get to where you want it to be, you turn it back. And then that That's locks ingenious. it in the new position. Mm. Isn't that so neat? pull it all the way open and lock it. So this is the tallest it can be. <laughs> Good thing you naturally uh, twisted it neat. when you first opened it. Otherwise, yes. Um, bum I had this hidden so Dennis couldn't see it. <laughs> Foldable stool. Oh, holds 200 pounds. Okay. Uh, wow, well, you know, it was only twenty uh, $23 with tax. twenty two thirty nine. But there are a ton. Take a look at this. Whoa. You can pay 35, you can pay 30, you can pay 25, 30. Uh, it, it's just amazing. You can pay uh, oh, gray, it comes in gray, blue. There's some under clever. $15, but then there's like $15. Right. And shipping. This brand, the Yin Kai ah. Cyber Celebrity. <laughs> I got the best what? one. The Yin Kai Cyber Celebrity Style Stool Generation 1. Uh, someone in the chat room, 130 kg. How many pounds is that? Okay, post it so we can see it. Um, and the interesting thing about this is I got it two days ago, and it's already uh, unavailable online. But it doesn't matter because, as you can see, there are tons of them. It's nice looking. It's nice looking. And then when you want to carry it with you, you turn it. That, yeah. And my scale is right here. So it's, it's not going to be too much. So it comes with a carry handle. And it comes with a shoulder strap. Mm -hmm. And it weighs 2 pounds, 13.9 ounces. So it's under three pounds. I think this is really neat. Stylish, convenient, foldable stool for you. <laughs> I like how you went for the cyber celebrity model. Because yes, I know. You I did. are a cyber celebrity. I was drawn to it. I said, <laughs> oh my God, I have, to, I have to get the celebrity model. <laughs> yeah, and the carrying strap locks down around the, uh, the base. Uh, this is a similar one because the one that I have for some reason two days after I bought it was unavailable. But these all look exactly the same. Now, this one claims 350 uh, pounds. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're all out of the same factory. Yeah, and of course the oh. chat room has found Alibaba versions Yes, all that's over. so funny because the Alibaba I found was $58. <laughs> that's a it's rip-off. Sort of like it's sort of like someone from Alibaba is buying them on from Amazon, Amazon and, then, and shipping them back yes. to China. Yeah. No, so here's one with a whole bunch of different colors. So whatever wow. color you want and the price range tells me that... Oh, you know, it's still more than Amazon. Yeah. On, but on then Amazon, there's this yeah. other one. This one goes down to 11 in some combination. Oh. Which combination do you think it is? Here we go. Uh, that's 20. Uh, uh. No, is it shipping from oh shipping from Spain? There's that's what you want. Okay, you want it to ship from Spain, and then you can get it for eleven bucks. And uh, and and how much shipping? Uh, oh, cannot deliver to United oh. States. 
Oh, well, darn it. Oh, none of these can. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, oh, that's why that one is not the option we want. <laughs> is this a Captain America one? Oh my gosh, oh this, my this is branded. Oh what is my that? Goodness. <laughs> I don't even know so not that. Not only are they stealing the design, they're stealing all work from a. There's that unicorn! Oh, they, they have it! Cool. <laughs> What's it, $35? I can't see. Uh, yeah, 30, 35, 90, 34.94. Shipping oh. is. Oh, free, free shipping. Yeah. And you'll get it in um, a month. Oh, Hopefully. okay. That is so funny. Um, this is a cool. Cool find. And yeah, I, I think it's pretty neat. It's, you know, oh, this one looks like a log. <laughs> it looks like a log. Oh, that's fair. This is this yeah. is the. It just needs one of those. <laughs> this literally looks like they ripped off one of those uh, pull cord. Speak the oh. the cow goes moo moo. Yes, 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 it, yes. It's very funny. It that's looks like they just funny. had that stencil lying around. Um, but. It, 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 I guess it's been around a while. I, I never saw it before. Yeah. But look at the number of varieties. Yeah. Holy cow. That's crazy. That's insane. I mean, it's just, it must be a thing that's, that's popular um, elsewhere. maybe <laughs> elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah. in Asia, this has like been very popular in China. Yeah. It also um, looks like an accordion when you open it. How much are these in the U.S.? So Bleak found another one. That's uh, eleven bucks. It says this is. The, oh, that might be the one with. Oh, this uh, is the. Well, yeah, those is the one that wouldn't deliver. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. Okay. And not deliver. So that's cool. I right, that's a good gadget. A good one. Uh, uh, you know, if you have like a backyard picnic thing or something, and just say bring your own chair, or it's pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty neat. Um, okay, so oh, uh, over at Kid Tracks, one of their toys, which is not coming out, I think, till September. Well, I guess that's only a month away now. Um, has already won a nomination for Best Toy of the Year award, and it's also pretty neat. And this is it. Finally, our hero product of the fall is the Real Rigs recycling truck. Uh, the Real Rigs recycling truck is an interactive six volt ride on toy. Um, it has a lot of fun interactive play features. The mouth moves, the eyes move, uh, it lights up. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you here so you can see kind of what's going on. And he's sending the fax. So that's oh a really cool gosh. toy. It has over 100 sounds and interactions with the child, um, including it comes with all these really fun accessories. Um, and these accessories are meant to be an educational opportunity to educate the child on how to recycle. Um, oh, so media. the child can come around to the back here. And there are different slots on the back of the truck that oh, allows wow. the child to then choose how they're going to sort that item. And then once they sort the item and it goes into the back, then they're able to use this lever here to release the, the items. And that pops them out so that they can play and start over again. So a uh, very cool toy, Kid Tracks, uh, Real Rigs Recycling Truck. And that's going to be available um, again at Target. Um, at Amazon and at KidTracksToys.com for $199, uh, something that we're super excited about for the fall. Um, this was actually nominated for uh, Toy of the Year, so we're hoping to hopefully take home that award this year with this toy. So uh, definitely get on those when they're available in October. Hopefully you enjoyed the walkthrough, Dick. Um, once again, you know, it's too bad that we can't be doing this in person, but I'm excited to share this with your audience and then hopefully talk again soon. Bye. That is awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Oh, here's the little... Bottles and cans and cardboard, <laughs> plastic, paper, and glass. Woohoo! Driving down the road, his carrying a load, recycling his, his blast. Cruising through the town, making pickups on the way. Helping save the planet, on recycling day 
bottles and cans and cardboard. This should be Plastic, like paper, a Cars from Pixar and integration. Of like, yes, yes. Recycling is a blast. <laughs> it's good being a truck. That is ridiculous. That is <laughs> too much. Oh my gosh. That oh. is so funny. Um, that is a riot. Yeah. Uh, so that's October. And also, uh, shame on him. He couldn't even sort it correctly. He put the paper I into know, the box the slot. Thing, did you notice? I didn't want to. I didn't want to <laughs> point it out. But I, I said, <laughs> I wonder if anybody in the chat room will say, Ryan, <laughs> isn't that newspaper shaped like the yellow <laughs> thing? Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's what, I guess he was showing that it didn't. It didn't have to be sorted correctly. Yeah, Kids, yeah the, 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 you were not punished. You were yes, recycling, exactly. even if you were doing it slightly exactly. incorrectly. Exactly. It, that was the single stream recycling area versus the uh, needing <laughs> to sort it yourself uh, region. That is amazing. Um, that's incredible. <laughs> I didn't they, expect. They, they, they do. They do great things. I think, I think from Mad, uh, we did a thing once where you go to the post office and it says, you know, special delivery, uh, boxes to so-and-so, overseas, airmail. And, and then the second panel is the back of the thing. And it's just one gigantic <laughs> just spin. one bin. Yes, exactly. With a billion holes that, that people can't see that it's all going into... Just, just giving people something to do. Totally, uh, totally. They get to 100%. the post office. Um, anyway, so uh, Kid Tracks Toys. And thank you, Ryan, for doing that uh, special video for us. Um, all right, well, that brings us to... Oh, what did you... Did you it, I did. Video? I did oh, the first gosh. week. The first oh, week. Where excellent. We actually Ladies did. and gentlemen, we don't even have to talk over it. It's... No. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at chance. Crappy Corner. Get it. Get it. Woohoo. Did you notice what it says over the door? Chad's Crappy Corner. It's like the building. Yeah, no, underneath, over the Wait. door, it says you sometimes. You need it. Not you know crap. Want it at <laughs> Isn't that great? That's hilarious. I did. That's I totally real, missed that. Totally real missed fan that. of the show. I missed it the first two times myself. That is so funny. So it is fire month. All of the gadgets that we're talking about are fire related, pyro related. And this one really took me off guard. So the promise of this gadget is that it is the permanent match. The permanent match. I'm going to show once for life. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to show you the um, the uh, the Amazon page, and then we'll test it out. So this oh, is the Amazon page, and you get five of them, which is kind of interesting. It's 20 bucks for five of them, but it is a metal match with a wick, as you can see. So you could keep this around a little bit better, I guess, than another match. And obviously, you can use it over and over and over and over again because it uses a wick and a metal match. So just like it said, you get five of them. So inside of the packaging, you have, I pulled one out, so the other one is over here. You get the five different matches, you get some wicks, and then you also get instructions, which are fairly clear, which is not always the case when, whenever <laughs> you're getting something like this. Yes, we know. So, how it works is, inside of the match is the wick attached to this metal rod, and you have to add your own lighter fluid, and you just use any type of lighter fluid that is like for a Zippo. And then inside of this match, there is a metal strip. So you can kind of see it in there. If, oh, yeah, yeah. If this was to focus, there it is, that metal strip. And so you strike that against the side of the case, and it'll create a spark. And then there you go. Wow. And this is a huge flame. Like, it is gigantic. <laughs> um. It does create a little bit of smoke, and it mentions in the instructions that you should really keep it going for about five seconds, otherwise it'll start to burn the wick instead of the lighter 
fluid, which is inside. So if I wanna do it again, I can basically just dunk it again to get some more lighter fluid on the wick. And then there we go. We have this flame again, which is just, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, it's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, that is a lot, a lot. Um, and when you said five seconds, don't don't let it burn more than five seconds. Right. right? So, so oh, okay. put it out after yeah. five seconds. The the only thing that'll happen is the wick will just start to burn. So that wick inside of there. Here, I'm going to put this one away. Um, it uh, the first time here. Let me open up a brand new one so you can just kind of see. Is the first time to use it. The wick was a little long. Mine just naturally burned away a little bit of the wick, and you can also grab that piece of metal and pull it all the way out with like some pliers or something like that um, if you need more. So here is, here's a brand new one. So there's that the wick there. And if you needed more, you could use just use your fingers. Oh, I see. Okay. Pull some more wick out if it starts to burn away. Um, if for whatever reason you, you know, didn't had it last longer than five seconds but i was not expecting that large of a flame if you for some reason can't really get a good flame out of a uh, other there we go um another light source another source this is i mean if you were doing some type of uh industrial work where you needed a larger flame this would be Awesome. It is a little weird to have put out this flame and kind of see some char on there and then just dunk it back into the lighter fluid, but that's what it says in the instructions <laughs> to do. Um, so, you know, it hasn't hasn't caught anything on fire. I mean, other than itself, um, hasn't caught anything on fire yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. Except your keyboard. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it does shoot those sparks out there um, pretty pretty big as you're striking that. There you go. Wow. And it does um, keep the the metal part is fairly cool compared to some of these other things that I've tested. Sometimes the actual device gets really, really, really hot. So for 20 bucks, you get the five different things. So it's only $4 a uh, match, basically. And you also get the extra wicks, which look just like string. And... Um, and, and then you have to get your own lighter fluid. And lighter fluid comes in a variety of costs. Um, you can get it almost everywhere, like at Walmart, Target. That Does it have thing. pumpkin spice? <laughs> Does not. There's not a oh, pumpkin no spice. Oh, no Zippo there. pumpkin spice. Oh. No, not yet. I think they okay. didn't want people to drink them anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> So there you go. The, um, I think that's Parma pretty neat. Yeah, I was, I was really... You know, I had, this doesn't even do it justice. Like, this is like, it looks so small compared to what mine constantly became. Um, and then, of course, you can keep this around for a very, very long time. It's fairly water resistant as long as it's tightened and closed correctly. So I thought it was mm -hmm. kind of cool. Um, and also, just that striker inside of here. here is this, this is the one that I'm, I didn't put anything in. If you had another light source that you just needed a, a good spark and you ran out of butane, or it's not butane, uh, ran out of lighter fluid, um, you could still use, you know, this just to make a spark, which is kind of cool. Oh, too. I see. Yeah, okay. If for some reason you need to do that. So anyway, that's the permanent match. And I think I may have scorched my webcam just a bit oh no <laughs> it was it was a kind of a long trail there but it is i mean it's like kind of uh entrancing to see that huge i see that huge flame oh my gosh i feel like i'm a magician here with this magical huge flame um wow. oh and also that's, that's another thing i wanted to mention was a normal like zippo lighter has that wind guard on it and as I just kind of showed you right there, it does not seem to go out in wind. So I wouldn't be worried that wind would cause too, too oh, big of an yeah, issue blow out. with your um, with your flame. And, so there you, and go. you think the lighter fluid last uh, wouldn't dry out? And so it specifically says inside of the instructions 
um, that the that it should not dry out. That oh, as long as okay. it's closed, that it will not evaporate. I forget exactly oh, where good. that's okay. That's in here. Um, but it did mention that the lighter fluid should not uh, blow out the flame before screwing the match back into the container. Ensure that it is sealed. Fuel will not evaporate or leak out. Be careful to not cross think, thread or over tighten. Yeah, no, I think that the, the, they're great. What are they, four yeah. bucks each? Four bucks each. You get five. Stocking stuffers for Christmas. Yeah, there you go. exactly. <laughs> and it was reviewed, exactly. okay, uh, four or 3.5 stars. It looks like some people may have gotten some broken ones. Um, oh, okay. Do not waste your money. That's uh, what some people are saying. So there you go. The permanent match. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. All right, our video is from our most frequent contributor, Mo Torres, who says, hey, guys, I have a new gadget to show you. I think Dick will love it. Chad might want one also. Uh, and I think I joked in a previous video he sent in that we see an awful lot of his flaw. So he makes a comment about that <laughs> in the opening of this video. Hey, guys, love the show. And, of course, I have to start the video showing you my flaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the witless protection program. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I have a gadget to show you. So it's not this. I just want to show you what I did. This lamp is made by this company, Otblight, I believe is the pronunciation. Or maybe you guys know the correct pronunciation. No, that's I it. I purchased this a long time ago. And the way I use it is that these lamps here are controlled by the light switch. And the way I use this is that when I'm in bed and I have, you know, since the light switch is at the entrance, I turn this on, I use this lamp to take the place of this lamp so that way I can turn it off and on while I'm in bed. But I decided to upgrade. I upgraded my lamp and I'm going to show you why it's an upgrade. I know it's a lot smaller, made by the same company, but there's something very unique to this lamp compared to that lamp. And I think Dick's, Dick's going to really love what this does. So just imagine it's the middle of the night and the power goes out, which it does here in Pennsylvania, and you need to access light. Now, the lamp shouldn't go on because it works through electricity, but it actually this one does, and it has a battery built in. And you can do the LCD background or turn the lamp on while there is no power. It works through micro USB. That's it right there. You disconnect it, and it will stay on. As you can see, it's still lit. And one of the nice features about this is that whenever you get a scenario where there is no power and this is sitting right next to your bed and it's very dark, you actually can be able to reach over, turn it on, and use it just like a flashlight. So one of the really nice features about this lamp is the fact that it has two different types of lights. You can turn on and off the regular lamp and the LCD lights up. It gives you the date and time on it. It also has an alarm. Alarm doesn't work very well. Oh, I can't nice. hear it. <laughs> uh, but it does have it if you want. I have this one near my doorway, so when we go out and we need a flashlight, I put a D -ma uh, magnet. Uh, oh yeah. Easy removable magnet, micro USB connection. We showed those right before. there. Yeah. And since it has a built-in battery that lasts up to two hours at its highest setting, which I personally tested, I can literally turn this on. I'm sorry, that's the LCD. I can turn on the lamp and go out in the dark. Very very dark out here. And the only light I can get is from my portable lamp. Ooh. Has a built-in battery, like I said, and you can use it as a flashlight. It's really cool. I love this gadget. It's my new favorite gadget. A very good safety gadget. I love it so much. I actually have four. Two in my bedroom, <laughs> one at the doorway, and one in the office. Really you hear a really rattlesnake. Cool All right. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you, guys. Bye. That is nice. I also really like the price. The, it's... it's 20 bucks 20 bucks which is like a fantastic price yeah i i didn't find that model on amazon but it i think most said he paid 17 but it's uh he got it at at best buy uh anyway it's it's 20 bucks 
Yeah. And also just, uh, and it really fulfills everything if you need a desk light, especially with the date and time. Da and temperature. Yeah. I think yeah. that that's really, it's really nice. Very, like very nice. Perfect yeah. gadget, Mo. Mo, Perfect. thank you, Mo. And Mo, you'll be getting the new issue. Um, yes, you'll be getting the new issue uh, because it. I should have it. I, I've lost track. There we go. Yes. You'll be getting that, Mo, the super issue. Da -da. And if you want a super issue, make a video for the show, one to three minutes, okay? Like Mo, just make sure we can see the gadget and hear your voice, horizontal format. Post it on YouTube. There's a drop down menu. You can click unlisted if you don't want people to just stumble on it. Uh, send us the URL, and if we show it, and 90%, 99% of the videos uh, we get, we show, uh, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine, whatever that may be, and send your link to us at mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And I think we're almost out of videos, so get one in soon. Anything about a gadget, old, new, Especially something in the garage or attic that you bought 15 years ago and it was like the edge of technology. And today <laughs> it's something we look at and laugh, but that's a lot of fun doing that. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now, now, evidently, people were taken with your fondue mugs My because fondue there were mugs. two emails. <sighs> Bruce Hill writes, I notice in your description of the mugs that they were microwavable. Mm -hmm. I would probably start the melt in the microwave oh. and then just use the candle to keep your fondue warm. And That's you want to smart. keep your fondue warm. Yeah. Um, that was Bruce's suggestion. Bruce from Ridgefield, Connecticut. Uh, another subject, fondue mug, Mark Heil, uh, H-E-I-L. Chad, I think the dull finish you see on one mug mm -hmm. is actually soot from the candle that you used, uh, that you burned in it. If the mug was anything but black, it would be no more noticeable. Use one of those magic eraser pads to clean it. So I can Mark. confirm that I used the shiny one with the candle, oh. and the dull one never got a candle. Um, I was okay. kind of freaked out by the dull one when I saw it, and so I didn't use that one with the candle. Um, I am totally good. Yeah, I have those those like magic eraser pads, so I can use that. Um, I still think yeah. it's something with the finish, considering that In that the glaze. Yeah, that glaze. There's a smudge that's yes, nice and I shiny, and then there's like a lip around the top that's also nice and shiny. And I just feel like they just screwed up the glaze on this one versus this one, which is really nice and shiny. Oh man, come on, there you go. So you can really yeah. see the the difference. Is this one almost looks like I could wipe off. <laughs> something on it and this other one <laughs> yeah, doesn't yeah um so yeah uh so i didn't put a candle in it um uh. but i could try because those magic erasers are basically like very very fine sandpaper so i could i could try to it, gussy it up. it up yeah, yeah totally well if you have company over you just take the the defective one and say, look at how, exactly. here's your fondue in a nice, shiny mug. Exactly. Also, people just would not notice. The, you wouldn't notice. I feel it. like. Um, no, not when you hand them a thing full of hot wax no. dripping on them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> They'll be too busy saying, ah, ah, Ouch, ah, ah, ow. Golly, you could have handed me this a little nicer. <laughs> and whatever. Mark, thank you uh, for that suggestion. That's great. Also, thank you to our patrons. And oh also all gosh. the people who support. You know, we should oh, really oh, give a God. shout out for the PayPal folks. You guys everybody, are so generous. Everybody. You guys it, are it's incredible. It's just so moving. Incredible. Thank you so, 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 so much. You guys helped us get this brand new TV. In and two weeks. In two weeks. The 
fans are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you give via Patreon or PayPal, we'd like to take this moment to just say thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you so much for your contributions. You guys are awesome. We really appreciate I'll give appreciate you the number. It. Because of people subsidizing the show, this is show number 274. Oh! We're so away, from, so yeah. close to that we're, five. We're, the next, we're, yes. The next episode. What's that? If we did 50 a year, that's more than five years. Holy moly. More than five years you've kept this show on the air. Oh so you God. have you to blame if you don't like the quality. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. If you want to give back, patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you can find our Patreon. That is a recurring payment for every time we upload an episode. You guys will give just a little bit. And then if you want to give one time, or, or you can actually, we have the PayPal set up to do reoccurring as well. But if you want to give one time, we have a PayPal account and you can find that link at our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and there's a PayPal link on that web page. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live, assuming no technical difficulties and assuming that um, <laughs> YouTube wants to work with us. Uh, you just head on over to gizwiz.tv and bam, there is the live stream. It's not gonna work for me. Like I mentioned, the YouTube doesn't wanna work for me right now, but, it should work for you. This is definitely a local issue. You can also join the chat room and you can subscribe or catch any of our past episodes. Look at how tiny that TV was <laughs> back in those old episodes. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so that is at gizwiz.tv. You can head on over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It? Or read about all of the fantastic gadgets that we've covered in our episodes. Playing what the heck is it is as simple as trying to figure out what this gadget is. This is the entire gadget. We don't just show you a piece of it and you have to guess the rest. This is all of it. And so uh, you can get a guessing and if uh, you're correct, like I am, because I know <laughs> that this is a, uh, this is a panic button from the Cold War era of uh, panic buttons. Um, and so you hit it and then you have permission to panic. That's really all it does. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Six Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interest. Wait, sorry, Six Mad Magazines for correct answers. 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers over at gizwiz.biz. Get a guessing. That about wraps it up for our show. Once again, thank you guys so much for your generosity. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.